This is part 45 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the commonly used JavaScript mouse events. Most browsers support these events. Mouse over event occurs when the mouse pointer is moved over an element. Mouse out event occurs when the mouse pointer is moved out of an element. Mouse move event occurs when the mouse pointer is moving while it's over an element. Mouse up occurs when the mouse button is released over an element. Mouse down occurs when the mouse button is pressed over an element. Click occurs when the mouse button is clicked. Keep in mind, when the mouse button is clicked, these three events are triggered in that order. Mouse down, mouse up, and finally click. Double click, this event occurs when the mouse button is double clicked. When the mouse button is double clicked, these seven events get automatically triggered in that sequence. Mouse down, mouse up, click. Mouse down, mouse up, click, and then finally double click. Context menu. This event occurs when the mouse button is right clicked. So when the mouse button is right clicked, these three events are automatically triggered. Mouse down, mouse up, and then finally context menu. Let's actually look at them in action. Let's design a page that looks like this with two buttons and a text area element. As these mouse events occur, we want to lock them to this text area element so that we can see the order in which they are triggered. So we need two button controls, input type equals button, value equals single, double, or right click. And we need another button, and the value on that is going to be clear. And let's include two break elements and then a text area element. Let's give it an ID. And let's set rows to 10 and columns to 20. All right, now let's write a function which is going to log the event to the text area element. So let's call this function log event. And to this function, we are going to pass the event object event object equal to event object or vendor dot event document dot get element by ID we want to get the text area element because that's where we want to log the events as they occur so the value of this text area element equal to event object dot the type property of the event object is going to give us the event that has occurred. And then to that, let's append a new line character, backslash r and backslash n. So this function is going to log the events as they occur to this text area element. Now let's write another function to clear the contents of the text area element. So let's call this clear text. And all this function is going to do is set the value property of the text area element to an empty string. All right, so we want to call this function when we click the clear button. So on click of clear button, let's call this function. All right, now here we have the function which is going to log the event to the text area element. Now we want to call this you know, when the respective events occur. So for example, on mouse down. So when does the mouse down event occurs? Whenever we press the mouse button down over an element. So mouse down equals, we want to call this log event function. So log event, similarly on mouse up, we want to call, you know, log event function. Now, similarly, there are several other events like mouse over, mouse out, click, double click, context menu, etc. Now to speed things up, I have already typed all those events. So let's copy and paste them right here. So on click, we're calling log event. On mouse over, we are calling log event. On mouse out, on double click, and on context menu. All right, so with these changes, let's go ahead and run the page. So now as these events occur, they should be logged to this text area element. 
Now let's move the mouse over the button. Look at that. When we move the mouse over, mouse over event is triggered. When I move the mouse out, mouse out event is triggered. Now when I you know, perform a single click, notice that mouse down, mouse up and click events you know, are automatically triggered in that sequence. Let's actually remove this mouse over and mouse out events so the output will be a little clear. So mouse over and mouse out. All right. Now let's reload this page. So now mouse over and mouse out events will not be locked to this um, text area element. So when I do a single click. Notice that mouse down, mouse up and click. All three events are triggered in that sequence. Let's clear that. Now let me double click. Notice when I double click, mouse down, mouse up, click, mouse down, mouse up, click, and then the double click event occurs. Now let's right click. Notice when I right click, mouse down, mouse up, and then the finally context menu event occurs. So let's remove all these events and then include just mouse move event. So on mouse move, you know, we want to call this function log event. All right, so let's reload the page. Now as we move the mouse, you know, the event gets triggered and it should be automatically logged the, to this text area. Look at this, as I move the mouse, look at you know how many times this event is raised. So for every mouse move, you know it gets automatically logged to this. So those are some of the commonly used mouse events. Thank you for listening and have a great day.